let's go into the detail of uh, clinical skill laboratories first. These are educational facilities which provide a safe and protected environment in which the learners can practice clinical skills before using them in real clinical settings. And clinical skill labs help to ensure that all students acquire the necessary techniques and properly assessed before practicing on real patients. So basically what we are talking about the, fa the facilities, the educational facilities, and these facilities provide a safe and protected environment, means that students are, uh, are not really threatened. Uh, they can practice as many times as they want in uh, this safe and protected environment. And, uh, and these may include both clinical skills as well as procedures. And the purpose is that students should get enough uh, sort of uh, experience and an ability before really uh, practicing on, on the real patients. So purpose is to avoid unnecessary uh, uh, trouble or unnecessary harm to, to the, the patients. So clinical skill labs support the acquisition maintenance and enhancement of clinical skills of students in the healthcare profession. So three major functions, acquisition, so learn new skills, maintenance and enhancement. Uh, so these um, clinical skill laboratories can provide facilities, for example, for refresher course, where uh, we, we can, uh, example is like uh, in CPR. So time to time, we need to refresh our skills uh, in, in certain areas and the clinical skill laboratories can provide that facility and environment to enhance or maintain our clinical skills. The term clinical skill involve history taking, physical examination, clinical investigations, diagnostic reasoning, procedural perfection, uh, effective communication, teamwork, and professionalism. So it's quite a broad term and uh, includes uh, many different aspects of uh, uh, managing the patient from um, making a diagnosis to actually plan the management and including performing certain procedures. 